The Section Breakout. This video covers the section breakout from the number six opposing solo perspective. The final maneuver in the solo routine, this is your swan song, and you've got to make it count. It's mostly composed of smaller chunks of skills you've already mastered in previous maneuvers, so it gives you a chance to fly a clean flourish before you rejoin the Delta for the final maneuvers in the show. This one is pretty easy to fly, and it looks great. Briefing. This maneuver starts with the section once again transiting behind the crowd on the crowd right heading, this time with number six in parade formation on number five's right wing. Between three and three and a half nautical miles from center point, the section will initiate a left 180 degree turn back towards center point to roll out on center line around three nautical miles from center point. Number six will then move outboard to the line abreast formation during the ingress. At center point, number five calls the hit and both pilots initiate a quick onset climb, establishing slight vertical separation between them. Number five then calls smoke off roll, and both pilots roll 90 degrees to knife edge and execute a max performance turn behind the crowd to rejoin the diamond for the delta roll. This is your last chance to really show off as solos, and it's all about timing. Fly smooth on the way in, and precise and snappy on the hit and clear. It's hard to find a more impressive thing than seeing two hornets with vapor trails streaming off their wings flying close formation in a high G turn. So it's a great finale for the solo part of the show. Let's get into the details. Walkthrough. Welcome back once again to the cockpit of the F-18C Hornet, and we're walking through the section breakout, which is the final maneuver of the Legacy Blue Solos Blue Angels Air Show. It's the final maneuver that the Blue Angel solo pilots perform in the air show just as their own section before they rejoin with the Diamond to become the Blue Angel Delta. You can see that we've just rejoined with number five after the section high alpha. So we are on number five's wing. We got a pretty good sight picture here. We can see the, the bug just above this little winglet and we are in a pretty good spot and we are looking to just fly form off of number five's wing as he makes a left-hand turn to intersect the show line again, at which point we're going to fan out to line of breast formation on his right. This maneuver is not actually a show maneuver in the classic sense. It is just a rejoin. It's just a fancy rejoin that looks cool in front of the crowd. But the objective is really to just get connected back up with the diamond for the delta roll. But that said, you still got to fly form. That's hard. You still got to fly abreast. That's hard. And you still got to do some pretty cool aerobatic maneuvers in the box. So let's unpause and get into it. So again, we're just looking for small corrections to try to maintain that sight picture. When we filmed this, I was pretty rusty. I had not flown formation in a while. So this is not the cleanest <laughs> formation you will see. But again, we're looking for that bug right there. Try and just maintain this sort of sight picture on number five. We don't have to stay in super close, tight blues formation like you do once you're in the Delta or the Diamond pilots do because the purpose of this is mostly just a maneuver to get you back connected with the Diamond. But in theory, we want to maintain that Blue Angel's precision, so I'm not super proud of this formation flying, to be perfectly honest. As number five begins his rollout, we're already thinking about going line abreast, so we're kind of spreading out to the right here. 
and then we will tend to descend based on the sight picture so we're also thinking about bringing the nose up trying to get connected and then the picture i'm looking for as i establish line of breast is right here on his jet i want to have the canopy rails lined up so i can't see this back one and i want to be basically feel like i'm sitting inside of this region here of his jet but the best way to do it is just to get those canopy rails lined up and that tells you that you're far enough forward on this pass i don't think i quite got far enough forward until we got into the box but we'll see you also have to keep your horizontal spacing in mind you don't want to smash wings with number five and that's easy to do uh, but you also don't want to get too wide away from him so you're doing a lot of little corrections to make sure that you're staying in good formation line of rest with number five all the way into the show just a few seconds after you get out here line of breast he's going to call for smoke on and you want to be set line of breast as best as you can at that point because once smoke is on if you make any corrections that becomes very visible because the crowd can see that in the smoke trail so you want to be set by the time smoke turns on here in a second and as we're coming in number five is going to be calling his the distances to center point so two miles and it'll probably go smoke on about now yep smoke is on and yeah, we're pretty good. The canopy rails are lined up, so we're in a pretty good spot. And we're just trying to hold it. Right around now, he'll call 0.5 from center point. And once he calls 0.5, as long as this sight picture looks pretty good, I will wait maybe a second or two more to make sure that I'm maintaining a good position. And then I'm going to turn and face center line. I'm going to turn forward and look at my HUD because we're about to get into the maneuver and I need to be able to hit some pretty specific numbers once we actually begin the aerobatics of the maneuver. So there we are and you call ready hit it and we're going to pull just up to 10 degrees or a little less. Between 5 and 10 is your target. If you go above 10 degrees you're going to be too far away from number 5 and it won't look good from the crowd. And if you go below five degrees, you're probably not far away from number five, and you might actually hit him when you do your roll to the left. So between five and ten degrees is where you're aiming at. And that means it's a pull, but it's not you're not yanking on this stick. It's more like a, a just a little bit harder than a yug to get you just a little bit nose high. And you will need a little bit of forward stick to neutralize it before you hit that ten degree mark. And then we'll roll to the 90. He already hit it. Roll to the 90. I'm looking over my shoulder. As soon as I see him, I'll call contact so that he knows that I can see him. We're safe. I'm not going to hit him. And then we're just chasing him around the turn. I'm going to keep my power setting, whatever he calls. Usually it's just stuck at mill power for that whole maneuver. I'm using the stick to modulate the turn rate to make sure that I'm staying line abreast from him as we make the turn. And then he'll call rolling out a little ahead of time so I know where he's going to roll out. And I want to roll out a little bit shallow from him so that we're establishing horizontal offset because I next need to rejoin with him and I don't want to be directly over top of him when that happens. I need a little bit of lateral separation to make that happen. So I'll look forward, roll out, wings level, and then I will do a clear that I've picked up watching number four after the double farvel, which is a roll to inverted, and then I'm gonna basically do a barrel roll to come back into formation with number five here. And it's actually a simulation of the rejoin with the diamond, because technically what the solos are doing here is rejoining with the diamond for the delta roll. So I will roll inverted, I will spot number five, call contact, and I'll continue to roll. And I'll look to just suck in right on his right wing. And when I am in, right around here, I'll call it, you've got two. Speed brakes, cross controls, whoa it up. I overshot just a touch, so I might call overshoot. And there we are, we're in. And that is the rejoin after the section breakout. That's the section breakout. And that is the Blue Angels Solos Air Show. Thank you so much for watching all of these, and I hope you guys enjoyed them. As we've been saying throughout these videos, practice, practice, practice. Hopefully all of these detailed walkthroughs have helped you to learn the shows and to learn all the little specifics that you need to get it right. And hopefully we got it right. And if you can think of anything that we need to correct, please let us know. But again, thank you so much for watching. We hope this is helpful and best of luck learning how to rock the show. Demo. Okay, let's look at an example of the section breakout from that Cobaletti show we filmed a few months ago. 
pay close attention to the way that I'm positioning myself relative to Chariot's jet during the turn so that I can set up to go line abreast on the rollout, and then also the way that I'm head out of the cockpit watching Chariot all the way around the 90 degree clear behind the crowd. Easy and simple. Easy and more. Pull and rolling out. The section break out. A little angle, a little drive. A little more drive. Go on our best. Look. Adding a little power. Smoke on. 1.5 mark. A little more drive. One mile mark. Easing the touch of power. Half mile mark. Ready. Hit it. Smoke off. Stand by. Roll. And pull. Ease the pull. And roll it out. Easing power. 380. Contact. 370. Adding power. 360. State 47. You got two. State 50. Adding a little power. Coming left. Coming further left. And the pull. We got and that's how the Legacy Blue Solos perform the Section Breakout. This is the last maneuver in the solo-focused portion of the Blue Angels flight demonstration and the final maneuver video in our Legacy Blues tutorial series. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving us a like and subscribing to our channel, where you can find the rest of the series, as well as full side-by-side -side show sequences and debriefs. That's it for us, so we'll see you on the flight line.